Do not dishonor my holy name, for I will demonstrate my holiness among the people of Israel. I am the Lord Melchizedek Nisbet, who makes you holy. I have told you many times that you cannot love the light and the darkness. It is best that you choose life, which is the light that I bring. And you must hate living in the darkness of your carnal mind, because I do not tolerate you wanting to live like earthly men and being in my kingdom, which is pure and holy. That is why it says in Ezekiel 43.12, This is the fundamental law of the temple. Absolute holiness. The entire top of the mountain where the temple is built is holy. Yes, this is the fundamental law of the temple. It also says in Isaiah 35, 8, There will be a road there. It will be called the way of holiness. The unclean will not journey on it. Fools will not go about on it. It will be only for those who follow that road. It will only be for those who follow that road of the holiness of God, Melchizedek Lisbeth, because there is no other route to reach the promised land. If you allow yourself to be cleansed by me, it means you have entered the promised land and will begin to live a very different life. But you have to turn away from evil permanently. Look at how it says in Leviticus 21.8, You must turn away from all that is evil because you are the ones who present the bread of your God. You must be different because I am a different God. I am the God of Israel and I have made you different. Those who truly live this order will be an example to the world, and everyone will want to come to me. It says in Isaiah 2, 3-4, People from many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God. There they will teach us their ways, and we will walk in their paths, for the Lord's teaching will come out from Zion. God's word will go out from Jerusalem. The Lord will mediate between nations and will settle international conflicts. They will hammer their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will no longer fight against nation, nor will they prepare for war anymore. But in order to fix your surroundings, you must first fix your contaminated mind. I understand that in the past dispensation, much harm was done to us, but you cannot continue doing what you did before. Because during that time, we were not friends of God. Remember that God only has trust in their faithful people to go and fix the world. Only the peacemakers who do live in my holiness will be a guide for the foreigners. They will follow my faithful angels so that they may teach them how to live close to God, enjoying our power. Because those who allow themselves to be sanctified, cleansed, and whitened will have a place in my kingdom. Amen? Hallelujah. 